Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. So, I really was inspired by Jackie Ina and I wanted to give you guys kind of like my monthly self-care, what I do at the beginning of every month, kind of like my maintenance routine, and I'm gonna be showing you guys that today. My neighbors have been gracious enough to lend me their outdoor shower, so I thought that this would be a fun change of scenery. So pretty much what we're gonna be doing today is dyeing my eyebrows, shaving my face, doing my shower routine, and my skin skincare routine and body care routine so we're gonna be doing all of that today and I hope you guys enjoy this I absolutely love doing my body care my skincare it makes me always feel really refreshed and hopefully you guys can get some tips and tricks out of this so let's get right on into it so the first product up we're gonna be using is the fresh brown sugar body polish this is one of my favorite body scrubs it works so well you almost don't even need to use a moisturizer afterwards but but you guys know I'm dry as hell, so we are gonna be using one. I wanna also tell you guys about the Pacifica Cocoa Cinnamon. This one is so good. I usually use this when I get bumpiness around my arms and my legs. I just, however, use this one, so I'm not gonna be using it today, but I did wanna give this an honorable mention if you do have bumpiness on the back of your arms or your legs. For shower gel, my favorite is the Rose Jam from Lush. I love that it's vegan, and I also just love the way it lathers, it smells amazing and it almost gives you like a perfume scent without having to wear a perfume so we're going to be using this today after we use our brown sugar body polish you always want to exfoliate before you go in with shower gel and shave your legs when we shave our legs I really like to use a men's razor I just find it's so much better and it gets really really close to the hair so this one is Mach 3 if you've never used a men's razor before I highly 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 recommend it once we're out of the shower we're gonna use the SIE your boobies this is to firm and tighten your boobies I really love this this is my second bottle from truly it's vegan it's cruelty free and it also has retinol in it so you want to make sure after you use this in the morning that you're following up with SPF after our shower I always go in with a body lotion today we're gonna to be using the necessaire I like this one because it's fragrance free but it also does an amazing job at hydrating the skin and I know a lot of you guys can appreciate fragrance free things so that's why I wanted to make sure to mention this I just love how rich it is for your body so after we're done with our retinol boobies I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to hit it with some SPF this is from Pacifica I absolutely love this one especially because it is water resistant I do sweat a lot in my chest area you know what I'm saying a little swoop up in this bitch this is really great I'm not going to be applying SPF to the rest of my body just yet because we're gonna go ahead and do our laser hair removal So I'm just gonna go ahead and start lathering this on my arms. It feels so good, you guys. Gotta get your shoulders. So now we're just gonna lather the legs, get going for our razor, for shaving. I always like to exfoliate before, that way you have a better, cleaner shave. And now we're just gonna go on in and start our shaving process. Gotta get them pits. All right, you guys, so we just finished up our shower care. Now let's go and do our laser hair removal, and I'll see you guys inside. Okay, so we are back in the bathroom now, and we're gonna be doing my laser hair removal. The brand I use is from Kenzie. This is not sponsored. I actually did buy this from them, and I do wanna give like a little disclaimer because I have actually burned my hooch, my lady parts, with this. So there are different settings. Just please be careful, okay? Please, please be careful because a burned hooch is not a fun hooch, all right? So the way you turn it on is by this back button here and then you can pick your level. So it goes all the way up to level five, for my armpits and legs, I usually do level five because they're used to it 
and for my hooch area I'll usually do a level three so let's crank this up to a level five for our armpits. So here's a little disclaimer, there are going to be flashes, so here is a flash warning. And I also just want to let you guys know that you should never apply any creams or deodorants before doing your laser at home because it won't get to the hairs as effectively as it would if it was just bare skin. So here we go. I always let it cool off in between. Also, if you have any tattoos, you're gonna wanna make sure you're really, really careful in avoiding them. So what I like to do is just go in a straight line when going to my legs. So I'll just start off here. And keep moving on upwards. It's really important to let it cool off, otherwise you are gonna burn yourself. This is not for the weak, I'm telling y'all. And you always wanna make sure your skin is flat. So if you need to make your calf kinda like flat, then make sure you're doing that because it'll work the best that way. Now for this side, we're getting into tattoo territory. So I take my hand and I just cover it. So that way I don't even risk the possibility of the laser getting even close to it. And I like to work in sections. So I'll do the bottom half of my leg first and then we'll do the top. For the back part, Again, just putting my hand on the tattoo. So for the top of my leg here, I lowered it down to a level four, just because the top of my leg is a little bit more sensitive. And then again, we're getting into tattoo territory, so I just cover the tattoo completely with my hand. If you're a little bit nervous, I suggest using maybe like a Band-Aid. The inner part of the leg is very sensitive as well, so if you feel like you need to lower it, then for sure do so. For the bikini line, you guys know the drill. I'm just gonna be doing it like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my other leg off camera, and we'll be back to finish off our body care. So now that we're done with our laser, we can finally add our SPFs and our body butters and creams. So now we're gonna go in with the SIE Your Boobies Boob Butter Firm and Titan from Truly. So it looks like this. Oh my God, it smells amazing. So I'm just gonna scoop out about that much. And it kind of like lathers down to a consistency like this. And we're just gonna go right on in and apply this to our boobies. So I'm just gonna be getting it all over. You can also bring it up to your neck. I like to do that as well, just kind of like bring it up. So now I'm just gonna apply some of this moisturizer from Necessaire. It's seriously one of my favorites, so I'm just gonna be applying it everywhere and then we're gonna follow up with SPF and this is fragrance free and then of course let's apply it to our legs a little bit goes a long way with this cream so you don't need a lot at all get your feetsies too you know and now we're just gonna go in with a little bit of SPF because we did laser we have retinol on our boobs so just going in with some Pacifica SPF and I'm just gonna apply this literally everywhere. I like to apply it in my hands first and then kind of just go. It's really, 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 I cannot stress enough how important it is to apply sunscreen after you do laser, especially if you're gonna be outside. So now we're gonna go ahead and dye our brows. This is one of my favorite things to do and I usually do it about once or twice a month. We are using Just For Men and the color is Deepest Darkest Brown. I literally order it off of Amazon and I leave it on for about 10 minutes even though I know the box says five I just personally like my brows to be dark as possible so first we're gonna take off the color base you do not need a lot like even that's probably gonna be too much but you want to mix equal parts that's the most important thing this is the developer you just want to make sure it's equal and then I go in and I just mix it on up with the brush it comes with and this is what it should look like so what I usually do to apply it is use an angled brush and I just start to apply it as if I I'm filling in my brows and I also go back and forth to make sure both sides of the brow are evenly coated literally just following the natural shape of my brows you'll be so surprised you guys like I never 
realize how many brow hairs I actually have until I dye my brows. And I really cake this dye on, y'all. Like, I cake it on. And then we'll do the other brow and then set a timer for 10 minutes. So this is what we're looking like, pretty cute. I first remove it with just a regular makeup wipe and then we'll go in with a cleanser and we'll start our skincare. But I just go back and forth first. Look at this, y'all. Like, it's so good. It works so so well and also it's important to have like a little spoolie on by so you can really brush it up and see how it looks like look at that look at how good and full that looks so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here just rubbing it off back and forth also if you're worried about any staining you can use Vaseline in the areas if you don't want any I actually prefer the staining because my brows are hella sparse so you could do that you can use Vaseline you can use like a makeup balm cleanser like around the area but this is what we're looking like so let's go ahead and start our skincare so we're just going in with the pharmacy cleanser this is their green clean cleanser it's a makeup melting cleanser we're gonna make sure we get it nice in our brows because we just dyed them so you want to make sure all that dye is out of there this cleanser is especially incredible for breaking down makeup for breaking down mascara anything you got going on like truly it is one of my new favorite makeup cleansing bombs and to remove it I'm gonna be using Chloe Morello's face halo I really love this it works so good at just removing your skincare your masks anything you got going on it's one of my favorite ways and it is sustainable so you're not like you know using any wipes or anything like that so now we're gonna go on in with our fresh soy cleanser and one of the reasons why I love this cleanser so much is is because it doesn't make my eyes hurt after using it. It's hella gentle and it's great for like all skin types. It doesn't leave your skin stripped or any like tightness feeling. I always double cleanse. It's like the only way I can wash my face in the morning, especially if you wear as much makeup as I do, you always wanna double cleanse. And I just rub it in for about like 90 seconds. So once a month, I always dermaplane. And basically it's <laughs> shaving your face. And I have never had any problems with shaving my face, y'all. I am currently 28 years old and I've been doing it since I was 21. I like it because it also gets rid of dead skin. I have very dry skin, so every product I'm using today is going to help with dry skin. And I also like it because it makes it for smoother makeup applications. So the way that you want to do this is make sure your skin is taut and just go right on in and start your shaving. You also can get like your sideburns with this. That's kind of what I get. You could see the hair is starting to come off. You never want to dermaplane underneath your eyes. I've done that once before and it literally makes your under eyes feel like a ball sack. So don't do it. I also like to use this to get any mustache hairs and same thing over here. I also like to get a little bit on my nose because it gets rid of any dead skin that's on there. And I do this extremely, extremely lightly, you guys. Not anything crazy. And then I just go ahead and do our forehead. I always kind of like stroke down. You can see there's all those little baby fuzzes are coming off. And it really makes a nice difference with makeup. And then we're just going to get the little corner here. You can see like the hairs coming off, that fuzziness. It really makes such a difference with makeup application and just smoothness in general. So normally after I've cleansed my face, what I like to go in is with an AHA. Now since we already dermaplaned, I don't want to risk over exfoliating, so I'm going to skip my AHA exfoliant today, but I wanted to give an honorable mention to Ren Skincare. This is the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. I absolutely love this. It's made my skin so smooth, so nice. I highly recommend it if you have dry skin and are looking for something to get rid of the dead skin cells on the surface. And another honorable mention that I want to mention is this Peeling Exfoliant from Polish Choice. This has 25% BHA and 2% BHA. This is a rinse off treatment. Now I only leave this on for five minutes, but it is incredible. I do this once a month, but since I did Dermaplane, I'm not going to do it because I, again, I don't want to risk over exfoliation. 
in. So I really love going in with Essence. I feel like for me personally with my dry skin, it penetrates even deeper afterwards with the products that I'm gonna layer it with. So I feel like it just gets your skincare deeper into the skin. This one is from Sunday Riley. This is the pink drink and I'm just gonna shake it up and spritz it on. That's all you have to do, it is so easy. I love it and it's a, a step in your skincare that I truly think makes a difference. So now we're gonna be going in with Desi Skin Vitamin C. I usually do two pumps. Vitamin C is great for the daytime, so leave me a comment down below if you guys would like me to do my nighttime routine because it's obviously a little bit different from what we're doing right now. But I've been using this Desi Skin Vitamin C now for like a month and it has really been making my skin happy. I usually get some sometimes like you know allergic reactions to vitamin C because it is an unstable ingredient so any vitamin C that makes my skin happy is a win in my book. So next we're gonna follow it up with the Rose Deep Hydration. This is from Fresh Beauty. I really really love this because it's great for my dry skin. So I just kind of like pat it into the skin and it's just gonna add an extra layer of hydration that a girl needs, let me tell you. For the summer, I've really been digging this cream from Murad. This is the Intense Recovery Cream. I just really love the way it sits on my skin and it's great for dry skin, great for the summer, and I feel like it makes a really nice base prep for our foundation. So this recovery cream, it's thick, okay? I don't know if I would recommend this to oily skin, but for dry skin, oh, this is gonna be your new jam of the summer, I'm telling you. So the final step in our skincare is sunscreen, and I usually do the two finger rule. That's how you know how much you need to apply. I am at a point where like I can only use mineral sunscreens. I keep having reactions. I'm not exactly sure why. This one is from Burst, and I just love it. It's it's been amazing. I haven't had any sunburns with it and no reactions, so it's a win-win. And we're gonna be sitting here rubbing it in for a minute. <laughs> get your necks, get your nose. For me, I always need to make sure I'm getting my forehead because my forehead always tans like way more than the rest of my body. So we're just rubbing this in. Get it in your hairline. I always make sure I get it in my hairline because let me tell you. I'd be burning in there as well. One honorable mention that I wanted to also mention is from Polish Choice. This is their hydrating treatment mask. I absolutely love this as a moisturizer. It's not as thick or rich as the Murad one, so I wanted to offer this as an alternative. I do switch between the two, but since my skin was very dry today, I felt like the Murad one was a better choice. Now, this is a mask, but you could use a thin layer as a hydrating cream. All right, you guys, this has been my skincare routine my body care routine. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know down below if you want to see a nighttime skincare routine because it is a little bit different from what I showed you today. I will make sure to have all of the products linked down below so make sure to check that out. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!